Uh, thank you very much for that, guys. Now, no matter the season, autumn, winter, spring or summer, you name it, fall if you like, there's nothing like a hearty homemade stew. Is there anything better? <laughs> no, there's nothing. And today we're making creamy peanut infused stewed leafy greens, also known as Muri Wondevu. Okay, well, I'll just stand to be corrected on that one. Uh, but that has been passed down over the years, so many generations. It's filled with protein, it's got those antioxidants and packing lots of flavor. Now, this take on combining two of Africa's favorite foods is sure to become a family favorite. Jenny Morris is still here to take us through it all. Did I say it right, that word? I don't know, the end said Dovi, but I don't care. It reminds me, because it's got beautiful <laughs> peanut butter in yeah. it. And for me, it's some fennel. For me, it's, <laughs> thank you so much. You know what Bro I'm Marojo. That's exactly. It. Mm. So um, we'll talk more about that. I'm yeah. going to just quickly get my onions going in the pan. Mm -hmm. um, and while those are cooking off very, very gently, yeah. um, can you multitask? I can multitask, but I, so I just have to ask <laughs> that you've used that Be Well canola yes. oil. Yes. Okay, great. So you will get that in first. You heat it up. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how, what's, the, what's the process? Okay, the process is you just pop your oil into the pan and just get it heated nicely. Okay. I mean, With onions in there. Onion, yes, and I want Perfect. it to kind of get like a little bit golden. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to add my garlic uh -huh. because you know Jenny likes to just coax the garlic best out of there. people and yes. the best out of ingredients. That's right. So I want flavor, baby. You like it hot? As you know me. There we the go. The hotter, the, the better. better. Well, Thank I, you very much. We are painting. We're making, <laughs> we're making use of that Be Well canola and olive oil blend. It's the unique benefits of Be Well canola oil that are combined with the taste of carefully selected extra virgin olive oils to produce at the end of the day, a quality oil uh, that has a beautiful olive taste profile, which you want. It's made exclusively using locally sourced GMO-free canola oil. And the theme, like I said, is health. The theme is vitality. The theme is goodness. Goodness gracious me. <laughs> You okay. said that so well. Oh, thank you, thank you, Jenny. So, so now, well, you said so be well. What must I do? Okay, so these we've removed the seeds because yeah. the seeds have got a bit of acidity in them. Okay, cool. And so this is what I call little petals. I'm starting to yes. think because you've been helping me out so much on my sort of responsibilities. <laughs> is it that you just don't trust that I'll get it right, no. or do you just think you know what? I want this done as quickly as possible. Let's let me just do it myself. Okay. Well, no, no, no. It's not that at all. I love you know the natural teacher yeah, yeah, instinct yeah. in me. Yes. What's our control? Freak. Yes, I don't um, control freak. <laughs> we know that one. We yes. know that. But, okay, cool. So our tomato <laughs> slices are going in yeah. there, nicely, finely chopped. Finely chopped. And then what I'm going to do is I put my spices in here. You can see um, that and you can smell. Oh, yes. um, and before I add anything that's going to be um, wet, I want to release. Okay. And then we're going to use some kale today, but you could use beetroot tops. Don't throw away the beetroot tops. People and the do, stems. right? No. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's Absolutely. And what I do with this is when you use your kale, here's a little tip. Yeah. You bruise it because then you release um, all of the um, the green stuff. Sometimes people find kale to be a little bit bitter. It's a very, very okay. healthy leafy veg. Um, and you can just massage it. Yeah. With a little bit give of it salt. A, a deep tissue mass. That's it. And then you release to get rid of that chlorophyll, yeah. then just give it a nice rinse. Great. And then I like to use um, kale mm -hmm. and um, some Swiss chard together because nice. I love the stems. The stems have got beautiful fiber. Oh, when fiber. they come together, that fiber. Yes. I like that. Yes. But my best is pumpkin tops. Can you use pumpkin tops? Yes, as well? I grew up in Natal KwaZulu. Yeah, yeah. Yes, pumpkin tops. But, and you know, there's also, once again, just a very easy way to do it because it's a little. The younger the better. You know what they say, the younger the better. Do they really say that? Oh, darling, yes, about vegetables. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got those little um, thorny things on them, so you just have to... And the strings, you just take the strings off the stems and off the leaves and wash her and chop her and yeah. fag up. Uh, hey, Delicious. Hey, bang, 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 Can I get a... Hell yeah. I like it. Okay, yeah. cool. So this is wilting down nicely, and this is a mm -hmm. kind of for me where the West African thing comes Ooh, in with spinach and peanut butter. Yes. West Africa loves that, and that's yes. why that their food is always just so so rich and healthy. But you are getting this. the health benefits of all of that too, not yes. just the flavour, which is great. Yes. And a tiny bit, you could use stock with this, your vegetable oh, stock, you could that. use a bit of chicken stock. I just want to first just break it. So you would gently go break in with down. your water, you would yes. introduce your water as you go along, just to make sure that yes. you retain that moisture. Exactly. Don't get excited and throw the whole thing in. Mm -mm. Don't work for me. No. 
and we want to toast these once again. Coaxing, beautiful texture, mm. get the oils to come mm. to the to the fore. Very, you really very are healthy. taking us on a trip here, Jenny. Oh, and you're, you're not even realizing it, and you haven't even asked for a visa. I mean, this is insane. <laughs> I don't need one, baby. We're in our clearly kitchen. Clearly not. Clearly not. <laughs> Look at oh, this. this is such an inspiring recipe, and I love the fact that it can be mm. both flavorsome as well yes. as healthy, all in one. Yes. Uh, and I think the benefit of knowing that this is endorsed by the Heart and Stroke Foundation, our Be Well Canola and Olive Oil is also really good. You wanna make sure that you really are putting in good stuff that's been uh, locally sourced, for example, GMO free, which is fantastic. And if you want the recipe, we've loaded this on our website. It's live, it's on now. Go on expressoshow.com. The recipes there, ingredients there, and of course, what you will need and the steps involved. Do you want some? Uh, would I like some? I've got some yes, already please. made, darling. Thank um, you very much. Can... Is this the time? Yeah. For tasting. It's time for tasting. Okay, it's cool. never too late to taste. Ooh, or never too early to taste. This screams West Africa. Wow. Put some on the plate. Yes, yes, yes. I'm actually just going to use the fork. That's it. I mean, I know that the, oh, the mm. smell of it, right? It's well, delicious. listen, if you missed any of the steps involved in uh, putting all of this together, and it looks so, smells so good, check this out.